Let me teach you how to play Above the Clouds Part 1, the intro section. <laughs> Here's a slow version so you can hear each section individually. Okay, here's how we're going to play the riff. We're going to start by hitting the 6th string open, and we're going to borrow our first finger on the ninth fret of strings 4 and 3, and we're going to play strings 6, 4, 3. Then we're going to add our 3rd finger to the 11th fret 3rd string, and we're going to go back and forth from the 3rd string to the 4th string, back to the 3rd string. So the whole first measure. Second measure, we're going to add our, put our second finger to the 12th fret of the 3rd string, and we're going to start by hitting the 4th string open, then to the 3rd string 12th fret, back to the 4th string open, to the 11th fret on the 3rd string with our 1st finger, back to the 12th fret with our 2nd finger on the 3rd string, and then we're going to do 11, hammer to 12, pull off to 11, slide to 7, all on the 3rd string. So it's all one motion. 11, 12, 11, slide to 7. Sounds like this. And the whole riff, that whole second measure. Third measure is going to start with our fifth string open, and we're going to put our second finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. First finger, sixth fret, third string. We're going to hit strings five, four, three. Then we're going to add our third finger right below our second finger on the seventh fret, third string. We're going to hit that note. Back to our first finger on the sixth fret, so we simply pick up our third finger. So it sounds like this. And then finally, that seventh fret on the fourth string. So we're already there. That riff sounds like this. And the last section uh, is going to start with the sixth string open, the top two strings open, and then first finger, second fret, fifth string, open fifth string. 2nd finger, 3rd fret, 6th string, 1st finger, 2nd fret, 6th string. That last section sounds like this. So the first four bars sound like this. Uh, we go into this next four bars. Uh, the first bar is exactly the same. Second bar is the same. Third bar is the same. Fourth bar is different. We're going to do the sixth string open, top two strings open, and then we're going to play this what's called an inverted power chord. We're going to play basically our first finger is going to bar the second fret of strings six and five, and then our third finger is going to be on the fourth fret, fourth string, fourth finger, fourth fret, third string. So it should be two, two, four, four. Sounds like this. And then move up to the fifth fret, play the same chord. So that last ending sounds like this. So the first eight bars put together.
Okay, the next four bars is going to change a little bit. We're going to still go back to our first finger ninth fret on strings four and three, only we're going to play those first three notes to our third finger on the eleventh fret third string. But then we're going to hit that note again and do a quick slide to the twelfth fret. Back to eleven on the third string with our second finger now. To our third finger twelve on the fourth string. It sounds like this. Next one, we're going to start by going uh, open fourth string to our first finger on the eleventh fret third string, second finger twelve on the third string, and then we're going to hit that note and do that quick slide again to fourteen. Second finger back to twelve, and then we're going to do an artificial harmonic on the eleventh fret of the third string. And what that means is basically you're going to take the side of your thumb and do that artificial harmonic. We'll talk more about that um, maybe in the live part of the show. But basically just hit that 11th fret with some vibrato. That'll work for now. Sounds like this. Slide down. The third section is the same as the third section in the previous two um, sections we learned. And then this... Uh, this ending here is the same as the last ending we did where it's open on the sixth string, top two strings open, and then those inverted power chords we talked about. So that, those four bars sound like this. The next three bars are exactly the same thing we just played, we're just going to put a different ending on it. it sounds like this. This ending is the different one. We're going to hit the open six string twice, top two strings open, back to the open six string, and then we're going to do a, a 12th fret harmonics, natural harmonics, meaning our third finger is going to lay directly over the 12th bar, barely touch the strings and hit both strings one and two at the same time. And then if you've got a whammy bar, you can do some dive bomb stuff there and it sounds kind of cool.